How do they behave around small children? When it comes to observing how animals behave around small children, it is important to take into consideration their natural instincts and the level of exposure they have had to human interaction. While some animals may naturally be more gentle and tolerant of children, others may exhibit signs of aggression or fear if they are not properly introduced or socialized. In this article, we will explore the various ways animals behave around small children and provide tips on how to ensure a safe and positive interaction between them. One Dogs, Man's Best Friend Dogs are known for their loyalty and affection towards their human counterparts, but their behavior around small children may vary depending on their breed, temperament, and individual training. Some dogs are naturally good with children and will exhibit protective and gentle behavior towards them. They may even go out of their way to play and interact with them, providing a sense of companionship and joy. However, it is crucial to remember that not all dogs are child-friendly. Some breeds have a higher tendency to be aggressive or less tolerant of children's playful behaviors. Additionally, a dog's upbringing and socialization play a significant role in how they behave around children. Proper training, early exposure to children, and positive reinforcement can help prevent potential incidents and ensure a harmonious relationship between the dog and the child. Two cats, independent and mysterious. Cats are known for their independent nature, and their behavior around small children can be somewhat unpredictable. While some cats may be more tolerant and patient with children, others may prefer to keep their distance. It is important to consider a cat's temperament, previous interactions with children, and the child's behavior around cats before allowing them to interact. Children should be taught to approach cats gently, respecting their personal space and body language. Pulling on a cat's tail or ears, for example, can provoke aggression or fear. Additionally, providing a safe space for cats to retreat to, such as a high shelf or a closed room, can give them the option to escape if they feel overwhelmed or stressed. Three small mammals, guinea pigs, rabbits, and hamsters. Small mammals like guinea pigs, rabbits, and hamsters are often chosen as pets for small children due to their manageable size and docile nature. These animals can be great companions for children, teaching them responsibility, empathy, and compassion. However, it is important to supervise interactions between children and small mammals to ensure the safety of both parties. Children should learn to handle these small animals gently, supporting their body and avoiding sudden movements. Small mammals may become stressed or frightened if mishandled, and they may bite or scratch in self-defense. Teaching children proper handling techniques and gently introducing them to the animals can foster a positive and respectful relationship. For reptiles and amphibians, cold-blooded companions. Reptiles and amphibians, such as turtles, snakes, and frogs, may not be the first choice when it comes to pets for small children, but they can still provide educational and enriching experiences. These animals require specific care and handling instructions, and children should always be supervised when interacting with them. Reptiles and amphibians have different needs and preferences compared to mammals. They may not exhibit the same level of affection or playful behavior, but they can still be fascinating to observe and care for. Teaching children about their habitat, feeding, and proper handling techniques can create a sense of responsibility and respect towards these cold-blooded companions. In conclusion, the behavior of animals around small children can vary greatly depending on their species, breed, and individual characteristics. It is essential to consider their natural instincts, upbringing, and socialization when allowing children to interact with them. By teaching children proper handling techniques, respecting the animal's boundaries, and providing a safe environment, we can ensure a positive and enriching experience for both the child and the animal.